All right, y'all. Another day, another truck, another mini truck, another mini truck, build off truck. Yeah, yeah, you get it, mini trucks. Yeah. Yeah, all right. Dan's over there, Chandler, Dawson, and Chandler's Ranger. Y'all saw this a while back. We went and picked it up. We sit in my yard, seeing all the background of all the videos. Uh, Chandler's ready to start working on it. He's been collecting parts. And as he has discovered, 2.3 turbo parts are expensive. How much, was, <laughs> how much was the wiring harness? Uh, I didn't buy the wiring harness. How I much was, was the computer? The computer was... 1200 bucks and it's like an antique it looks like yeah. what what an atari would be made out of if you know what that is but the, yeah i'm old enough to know what i think justin paid like 600 bucks for this dan was around when ataris were popular though with his old ass he was like 30 when that was <laughs> so uh let me, let me show you what we're doing right here all right so this thing has got a 2.3 fuel injected turbo motor out of a 88 thunderbird yeah all right Okay, so it's fuel injected. Uh, it's got a bigger turbo. It's got a underhood mount intercooler there. Bigger injectors. Um, you don't have the injectors yet, do you? I do. Yeah. Do you? Okay. Yeah, so you it. bought bigger injectors. How big are they? Eighty pounds. Eighty pounds. Freaking massive for a four cylinder. Yeah. <laughs> um, but when Chandler went and looked at this when it was at Justin's house, uh, the motor was halfway took apart, and Justin kind of threw it together so he would know how everything went and didn't put any gaskets in it. Uh, so we're fixing to tear it down, put intake gaskets, exhaust manifold gaskets, turbo gaskets, uh, exhaust gaskets, I think. Yeah. And what else? Um, I'm going to put the new injectors in. And, then and the valve cover gasket. Yeah, the valve cover gasket. And Does the front cover take a gasket? No. Yeah. No. It's so like, it's, it's open behind there, right? Yeah. It's okay. Just a so thing. none of us know anything about 2.3s. No. I don't know. Um, just what we learned from google and uh whatnot YouTube. so whenever uh we'll get ready to actually wire this thing but you're the only one that is doing a truck that we know anything about yeah because we don't know crap about tacomas yeah we no, don't know crap about 2.3 we know all about s10s because they're like easy yeah um you know but dan's got 88 98 they're like stupid easy too unless you want to put 28s on it um uh oh my hoodlum's coming to hang out all right so that's what we're fixing to do get after it Special. I only get special because of y'all. She is special. And because, because of me. Oh, and so he had started taking it apart before I started filming. That's the only reason that came off that easy. He's been working on it for like an hour. <laughs> we went to town on a test drive, and we've been back 30 minutes. It's been that long. Well, All right, so what we got here, uh, brand new intake. Uh, that's the factory 2.3 injectors. Uh, Justin just stuck those in there so the fuel reel and all will be where it's supposed to be. Um, he's running all new fuel line to the back. It's got a fuel cell in it. Um, I don't know the specs on the turbo. Do you? I don't. Uh, it's just a lot bigger than the factory one. EGR is blocked off. This is a five-speed manual truck. Um, brand new bottom end, correct? Yes. Never been crunk. Never. Um, the transmission one was one, had has been gone through also. Yeah, it was the transmission in the truck, but it's all been. And it has a 8.8 .8 rear end up under out of a Explorer. Explorer that has, I believe, 373s. Well, it may be a Ranger or it may be an Explorer. There's some tabs on the pumpkin that make it like it came out of an Explorer, but I don't yeah. know. So, and it fits. Um, but one thing to note, this truck has actually been converted to S10 lug pattern yes. because he had a set of Twisted Vistas. And you don't sell those and buy different wheels. You make those wheels fit your truck. Uh, it's got it's got a little bit more lip in the back. They, they're in there tight. Uh, this truck has a KP6 link. Um, and it actually lays out on the 17 with an underbed notch has a really nice uh rich rangers fuel cell in it with the high pressure uh fuel pump and we gotta have a drive shaft built yep. um i right, open that door let's show them a little bit of this interior i want to show them this console that we talked about in one of the last videos so this is uh it's pronounced Rody. Rody fab all right Dude, dude's awesome. he built these door panels um uh, they're awesome who built the kick panels um, the seal plates. I think they're roadie as well. Okay, so you got the dimple die seal plate, and you also got this console that he made. Um, when you get this, it's raw, and the overlays come off. You paint the bottom. You can paint it two different colors, just like this. It looks awesome. Um, got TMI seats. Yes. I think he said those were like twelve hundred bucks or eleven hundred. No, I think it was like. That may be right. I, don't I know. think you said like twelve hundred bucks. Yeah. So, the, so the gauges are in the dash. Um, where the AC controls yeah we got air gauges in there uh we got to figure out somewhere to put an air fuel uh afr gauge uh because 
Got to have that. And steering column's got to come out and get painted. Yeah, and he's, he's got to put a billet steering wheel in there because that steering wheel is terrible. So and he's not ever going to have cruise control. If y'all know anyone that's got a twisted Vista 2 steering wheel, that's not $700. Get with me. $699. Yeah, $699. All the YouTube critics, yes, we are going to change that. Yeah. No, we're just going to paint it. We'll spray paint it. In the truck. We'll fix it. Yeah, in the truck. In the truck. New carpet. Uh, man, Justin's been a fortune on this thing. Sweet headliner. All right. So, interesting story. Chandler owned this truck when it was completely stock. And it did not, it was nothing close to what it is now. It had a blowed up motor and he sold it to Justin for $300 and a set of sport mirrors for my blue truck. Justin had it for a while, bagged it, wheels, interior, put a motor in it, sold it back to Chandler for, Six, do you want to say? $6,000. $6,000. I still think you got a hell of a deal because. A good deal. Because it's got a killer set of wheels. It's got a like a $1,600 rear link set up on it. It's got a slam manifold under there, wire compressors. That's my favorite wheels ever made. I mean, best of the best. Dream beams in the front. Uh, and this truck actually lays out flat. Um, Did you say dream beams? Dream beams. That's dream. them, them I-beams. Oh, I thought he said I don't know. Can you buy those still? Mm -hmm. Can you? Okay. Yeah, DJ Instagram. He said green beams. Um, but anyway, oh, here's, green beams. here's uh, what we're getting into tonight. All right, so the turbo's off. Uh, I don't know anything about it, but uh, we got to do the oil drain. Uh, he's got the plate for that, and I don't know if that's a significant brand to anybody, but there's that. Um, yeah, so we had to pull that off so that we could do the intake gaskets, and I think we have to do the gasket that goes in here, but it's a lot easier to do it on the bench than on the truck. So we're trying to get these uh, intake bolts out so we can put the gaskets in. Found out that's about the easiest way to get to it. So when he gets out of the way there, I'll show you a little bit of the front suspension on this thing. All right, so we got a Slam SS7s, it looks like. Uh, Rick's Ranger back brackets? Yes. Is that Rick's Ranger back brackets? Rick's Ranger up and ready. Uh, not right. ready. Not radius arm. Uh, I beam bag brackets and also his radius arm relocation kit that gets it up above the bottom of the frame. Uh, really nice. It's got some shock mounts uh, made into it. Um, I, I guess maybe you can run your shock up in there. We haven't made it that far yet. Uh, we did put brake lines and all on this truck. Um, didn't have any of that done. And uh, I'd say it's been drilled to S10 lug pattern. He sent those rotors out somewhere and had them drilled. And really nice setup, gets a decent lift and uh, had a notch for the steering. Still think it needs to be body drop though. Yeah, no. Careful. Body drop? After your truck. Mine's not getting body drop. Are you scared? Yeah. Because I've already scraped the roll pan this week. Did you really? Yeah. Can't Coming have, out of there. Can't have nothing. Like, no. I heard something. Hit that up button. Like, oh shit. Can't say that on YouTube. I just did. <laughs> and edit. You so say you had an oil pan on the way? Yeah. Are you planning ahead for to have a replacement? Or are you planning to section it? No, we're gonna section it. No we ain't. We're gonna drag a hole in that bit. First night. Right off the rip. Who needs oil pressure? No, I found out. Oh well, hold on, hold on. Now <laughs> it's a Toyota. Whistling diesel proved this. It will ruin You can oil. drain all the water and the oil out of it and drive it across where'd he go? What desert? Mojave Desert? Something like that. For miles. You can drop it 10,000 foot from a helicopter. <laughs> but it didn't look real good when it got done with that part of it. Did he drain all that? that we day? can bust yeah. this oil pan. He, I, dro he drove it like 30 miles with no water in it, and it didn't have a blowed head. Oh, it probably Never had, had it cooled it off. He got the water hose and just sprayed the top of the motor off. Thank you for a bottle of water on it. Is that what it was? That was a good that video. Dude yeah. That dude has made millions. Y'all uh, hurry up and share these videos so I can make millions. All right, so show them what you got here. All right, so we got you yeah. we got this. Uh, this is a pimp harness for pimp. the Stinger Performance ECU. Why did you order a pimp harness? You ain't a pimp. It says right here that I am. I guess it's $1,200 to you. $1,200 doesn't mean No, the harness wasn't $1,200. No, 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 the computer no, the, was. The ECU was. Justin bought this, I think, like 600 bucks. But uh, anyway, it's, uh, it deletes all the stuff you don't need. Gives you directions for everything. Very nice harness. Very nice. Like literally. Comes in, with a template right here yeah. to do your uh, hold the firewall. Grab that grommet out of there. Um, and the stripped out bolt connects to the computer. It is not stripped out. It will be. Just show them the uh, 
each individual wire is labeled for what it goes to. It tells you what it goes they to. They copied that from Painless 50 years ago. There's See? a tag on each wire. Battery, put that to the ground. Um, it's labeled here ground. with numbers. I bet we still mess it up somehow. All right, so this is the ground that goes in the firewall and that, uh, that paper, flip it over. It uh, gives you a template to cut. So pop a couple uh, holes in there with a hole saw, connect them, and uh, that'll go in there. Yep. And majority, the factory computer mounts under the dash on these trucks, all that's still there. Um, so the computer will actually be inside, the relay box will be inside, the fuse box will be inside, and you'll have uh, like this much of the harness out will be um, under the hood. So we're gonna try to shorten everything and make it as neat and clean as we can because you know, that's our style. <laughs> <laughs> Chandler missed that one. Show yeah, them what $1,200 looks like. It looks like a factory 1988 computer. <laughs> Straight out the junkyard. It even says, it says, it has a sticker. It says pimp though. Yeah, it has a sticker that says pimp. <laughs> and now when you take the cover off this thing, it looks like the future. The future. Dim. Huh? Dim. <laughs> Not a <good> <laughs> Well, I mean, we do have some amazing leadership going on in this country right now. So, but we're not gonna get into politics because we don't really we don't care about that. Here. We we, we want to make trucks load. But we got this motor stripped down. We we'll start putting some gaskets in it and uh, start putting them together. And Chandler also said that the harness said to remove the intake before you run the harness so that you can get everything. And then once we get the wires run out and figure out where they all go, then you start putting it back together. You flush the in as you go. Because there's sensors here, there's sensors here, there's sensors on the other side. Um, yeah, a lot of sensors. And we got to build a oil drain hose. It goes in there, goes up to the bottom of the turbo. Mm -hmm. And put hose clamps on everything because nothing has hose clamps. And then the catch can, we got to run it. Yeah, and then we got to have a hose going from the valve cover. There's a, right? Right here. Okay, around the side of the block. Yeah. It goes to the catch can that's over there on the fender. And uh, we're only like six months away from making turbo noises. Mm -hmm. Fancy little fittings. Did he already have those? Yeah, yeah they was already on there. Oh, okay. Because they go here. Yeah, that's right. A high pressure line, and then there is a return line right there that goes here. That's going to get a just regular hose clamp. What y'all working on over here? We just finished putting gaskets on the upper intake and the air bypass valve. Hey, that's backwards. So uh, this way, he showed me how to. That you put way. that on there. <laughs> nah, that, that's how it was. Yeah. All right, so uh, is that, what is that off of? This is off of a turbo coupe Thunderbird. That's the factory intercooler? I'm pretty sure. Is it really? It's still backwards. I'm pretty sure. It has I don't know. Four, it I'll has be honest, four. I don't know if I've ever even seen a factory turbo coupe Thunderbird. I don't know I've if it has Mustangs. a full stamp on the bottom of it. It really will. Behind the grill. I think you just take the grill out and just hang that out the front. No. No. Are you tightening? Are you listening? Oh, she was going the right way. She just didn't spin it down with her fingers before she started. You're doing good. Good job. Ooh, that thing flexed all in the middle. All right, so uh, we had a gasket set. I don't know where it's at um, right there, but it is for a 2.3 non-turbo motor. So we had to call Jim at O'Reilly's, which yep. is always an adventure, and uh, order the 2.3 turbo stuff. It'll be here Wednesday. Today's Monday, and then uh, the motor should be going back together. You figured out where you're gonna run your wire harness through? Yeah. I reckon we're just gonna run it right through here, like you was talking about. Yeah. Either that or right there. Um, don't run through that panel, please. There's a uh, there's plenty of slack. Hey, how many how big's the hole behind that panel? Um, let's see. I tried to look the other day, but you had that passenger seat full of crap. I just pulled the carpet and all out, so I don't know, it's covered in kill mat. That panel is? Most of the firewall. Oh. Yeah. That's why we can't have nice things. Cause they take your six dollar roller shop towels and cram them in all the ports. Hey, but I ain't gonna have no dirt daubers in my motor. And I ain't gonna have no shop towels. <laughs> well, <laughs> the shop towels are a lot cheaper than a motor. I didn't pay for that motor. I paid for them I shop towels I though. I paid for them shop towels. <laughs> all right, so what'd you get done? Um, me and my girlfriend. All right, so what all else you got left? Um, we got to pull all this right back off. It's just stuck on there now. Yeah, it's just stuck on there. Uh, we got to finish putting this upper intake gasket on there. And then we got to start wiring the truck 
pull the turbo and all that stuff off, um, get the wiring done. All right, so next big thing is to drill those holes in the firewall. Um, and I don't know how good we're going to be able to get up under. Do you have a right angle drill or? No. I might have to go buy one of those. I've got one up there somewhere, but the battery won't hold a charge. So, so what do you think? Kind of new to the lowrider stuff. You like it? Hang on. Move your head. She's all blurry. <laughs> she don't want to talk? What do I think about it? Yeah. You, you like lowrider stuff? I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> Get used to it. You still haven't taken her out dragging, have you? Uh, she watched me do it on the way here. Oh. Well, at least she's getting there. All right, so we also got to have a clutch fan, and the fuel system is done now, correct? Uh, yes. There was only these two fittings right here. Uh, we just had to put the injectors in, put the return line on, and both both up. lines hooked up at the fuel cell. Yeah, all okay. that. I didn't put the fuel pump in. Uh, I got, got a clutch fan at work. You got to put the alternator on it. Yeah, I'm gonna go buy another one probably tomorrow. What's wrong with that one? Uh, it looks bad. Looks bad? Looks Paint bad. it black? No. That's what I did with mine on my Sierra? That's like the original one from 1988 off this truck. I'm just going to go buy a new one. Painted mine black with spray paint. <laughs> and it still looks great. It's also about 20 years newer than this thing. Uh, it's still 20 something years old. Actually, it's 20, 03, 13. Yeah, it's 20 years old now. All right, so this thing uh, is coming along. Are you going to have it ready for mini naps? Uh, it's going to have to be. That's why I got the truck. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, we'll come back with another video when we get a little bit more done. And maybe next time you hear turbo noises. I hope so. That would be awesome. Uh, drive shaft. Yes. You got plans for that? Uh, I'm going to stick it in there and see how, if it's going to be too long since it's got that 8.8 eight rear end in it now. And if it is, I'll go have it shortened. You don't want to just have a new one built? Uh. That place that done mine in Garden City was like 400 bucks for a brand new one. They, they, you didn't bring them one? I mean, I took, I took them old one, but a brand new one is 400 bucks. Oh. So, I don't know. That was pre-COVID. Yeah. Maybe $800 now. We'll figure it out. Yeah, we'll, yeah everything's expensive this now. This is a very expensive hobby. I don't. I mean, it's cheaper than drugs. That's, well. Not really. It, it is. <laughs> trust me. It's cheaper than drugs. In the long run. Yeah. And you still have all your teeth. And you have a car. <laughs> family don't hate you actually family might hate you you build trucks <laughs> well, yeah. make noises oh oh four cylinder maybe hopefully